Pop star Taylor Swift keeps on coming, and if you guys haven't heard, she's coming out with a new album. Wow. Oh, too poetic. I found my career being fulfilled. I think that with three small children, it's, it's, uh, I don't think golf is going to cut it. Why is, is that a limited working? time thing? I don't know. To get think... you to. Well, no, they should have it on always. This is yeah. great news, though. The unlikely bond. In a dazzling world of sports and stardom, a delightful tale unfolds, weaving together the realms of NFL legend Jason Kelsey, pop sensation Taylor Swift, and the Kelsey family's whirlwind adventure through fame and fandom. At WWE WrestleMania, Kelsey stole the spotlight not just for his surprise appearance, but for the endearing moniker bestowed upon him by Swift's fervent fan base, brother-in-law. Yeah, you heard that right. Too poetic, I found my career being fulfilled. I mean, I look like legends to me. I knew that relationship all too well. In the city of brotherly love. The retired NFL Titan transformed into a beloved figure in Swift's musical orbit, all thanks to a playful twist of fate and a shared love for unexpected surprises. Kelsey, accompanied by his trusty sidekick, Lane Johnson, crashed into the wrestling arena disguised as full-blown Philadelphia Eagles complete with face-covering headpieces that were as conspicuous as they were hilarious. Despite their best efforts to blend in, these towering figures stood out like eagles soaring amidst a flock of pigeons. The grand reveal was nothing short of spectacular, as they shed their masks and black tanks, sending the crowd into a frenzy and prompting the announcers to welcome the Philadelphia Eagles with open arms. But amidst the cheers and laughter, it was the mention of Swift that truly stole the show with one keen announcer playfully referring to Kelsey as What's-Her-Name's brother-in-law before breaking into a spontaneous rendition of Swift's hit 22. Talk about a memorable entrance. This delightful twist comes at a time when the Kelsey family spotlight is brighter than ever, thanks to the budding romance between Swift and Kelsey's younger brother, Travis. The melding of sports glory and pop superstardom has sparked conversations and captured imaginations, blending two seemingly disparate worlds in the most dazzling and unexpected ways possible. Kylie Kelsey, Jason's equally charismatic wife, has been candid about the family's journey through the limelight. In a chat on Today, she shared insights into how they've navigated the sudden surge of public interest, all thanks to Travis and Taylor's love story. From cheering on Uncle Trav during his electrifying NFL season, which culminated in a triumphant third Super Bowl win, to witnessing Jason's emotional farewell from football, the Kelseys have been on a roller coaster ride of emotions and experiences. But it's not just about touchdowns and chart topping hits, it's about the bonds forged amidst the glitz and glamour of fame. Kylie, a devoted mom to three adorable kids with Jason, shared the joy of rooting for Uncle Trav, highlighting the warmth and unity within their family circle. Observing the blossoming romance between Swift and Travis has been a special delight, offering a peek into a world where celebrity, sportsmanship, and personal connections collide in a harmonious chorus. I think that with three small children, it's, it's, uh, I don't think golf is gonna cut it. It's made me really just appreciate being here and my teammates and everything that much more. As Swift and Travis bask in the Bahamian sun during the NFL's offseason and Swift's well-deserved break from her blockbuster Eras tour, it's evident that their relationship transcends mere headlines. It's a genuine connection that has brought together two vastly different fan bases in a chorus of support, sprinkled with a dash of playful banter and shared camaraderie. In a world where fame often feels distant and untouchable, the Kelsey Swift connection serves as a reminder that behind the glittering facades are real people with real emotions, navigating the highs and lows of life with grace and humor. So here's to more surprises, more love, and more unexpected bonds that bridge the gaps between sports, music, and the beautiful chaos of everyday life. Cheers to the Kelsey family, Taylor Swift, and the magic of unlikely connections. Jason Kelsey Insights Get ready for some major changes on ESPN's Monday Night Football pregame show. According to insiders at the network, ESPN is gearing up for another shakeup with plans to revamp the lineup and potentially bring in retired Philadelphia Eagles center Jason Kelsey as a new addition to the team. One of the key changes in the works involves the status of Robert Griffin III, whose spot on the show is reportedly in jeopardy. ESPN is eyeing Kelsey as a potential replacement, joining full-timers like Marcus Spears and Ryan Clark 
on Countdown. Kelsey's potential move to ESPN has caught the attention of other networks as well, including NBC, CBS, and Amazon Prime Video, all showing interest in securing his talents for their football coverage. Meanwhile, Hall of Fame wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald's role on Monday Night Countdown is also uncertain, with his contract up for renewal and ESPN taking a wait-and-see approach before making a final decision. ESPN's pursuit doesn't stop there, as the network is also keen on bringing in legendary coach Bill Belichick. However, Bill Belichick has expressed hesitance about joining a regular studio show, preferring a potential collaboration with Peyton Manning's Omaha Productions and NFL Films for a broadcasting role. The potential addition of Kelsey is seen as a pivotal move in the NFL TV free agent market, with CBS also vying for talent to fill slots on the NFL Today. Kelsey's proximity to CBS's New York-based studio adds to the appeal for both parties. ESPN's Monday pregame show, split between Bristol, Connecticut, and game locations, aims to elevate its profile with these strategic moves. The network has been proactive in reshaping its football coverage, including recent additions like Joe Buck and Troy Aikman in the booth and the popular Manning Brothers alternate broadcast. As ESPN navigates these changes, the focus remains on enhancing the viewer experience and bringing top-notch analysis and entertainment to football fans. With Kelsey potentially joining the ranks, the excitement and anticipation for the upcoming season's broadcasts are at an all-time high. Channel 13 Taylor's version unveiled. In a harmonious fusion of music and homage, Sirius XM is set to honor the iconic Taylor Swift with a dedicated channel, aptly named Channel 13 Taylor's version. This move, meticulously planned and brimming with Swifty and flair, is a testament to the broadcaster's commitment to celebrating the artistry and impact of one of the music industry's brightest stars. Sirius XM's official website recently unveiled 13 intriguing details about the upcoming channel, showcasing the depth of thought and passion behind this musical tribute. Channel 13 Taylor's version is not just another slot on the lineup, it's a vibrant tapestry woven with Taylor's essence, her lucky number 13 serving as a guiding star throughout. The channel's placement in the 13th slot across both satellite and streaming platforms is no coincidence. It's a symbolic nod to Swift's affinity for the number 13, a thread that runs through her career and resonates deeply with her devoted fan base. What sets Channel 13 Taylor's version apart is its exclusive focus on Taylor's re-recorded songs, affectionately dubbed Taylor's version by fans. I was just thinking I haven't heard enough about Taylor Swift <laughs> this week, <laughs> so I'm glad we can get her right back in there. Yeah. Pop star Taylor Swift keeps on coming, and if you guys haven't heard, she's coming out with a new album. Oh. Wow. Why this is that a limited working? time thing? I don't know. Uh, to get you to... Well, no, they should have it on always. This is yeah. great news, though. It will be on Channel 13, <laughs> a nod to her famous lucky number. From her Grammy-winning albums Fearless to Midnight's, Speak Now to Red, and The Enchanting Folklore to Evermore, the channel promises a journey through Swift's musical evolution, featuring not just her chart-topping hits, but also live performances, vault tracks, and bonus gems that have captured hearts worldwide. But Sirius XM goes beyond merely playing music, they're weaving a tapestry of fan devotion and appreciation. The channel will be peppered with special fan messages, authentic recordings from Swifties sharing their personal stories, and reflections on the power and significance of Taylor Swift's music in their lives. It's a heartfelt tribute that amplifies the voices of fans, transforming the channel into a communal space of shared passion and connection. The timing couldn't be more perfect, with Taylor Swift's highly anticipated album, The Tortured Poets Department, set to release on the channel's auspicious 13th day. This synchronicity is a testament to the thoughtful planning and alignment of Sirius XM's homage to Swift's artistry. Channel 13 Taylor's version is not just a fleeting offering, it's a limited-time experience, available from April 7 to May 6, 2024. This exclusivity adds to the allure, creating a sense of urgency and excitement among fans, eager to immerse themselves in Taylor's musical world on Sirius XM. In conclusion, Channel 13 Taylor's version stands as a shining beacon of dedication and celebration, a testament to the enduring impact of Taylor Swift's music and the unwavering devotion of her fan community. It's more than just a channel, it's a celebration of artistry, fandom, and the profound connection that music creates across boundaries. A Musical Guilty Pleasure In the realm of surprising revelations, Vic Hope, wife of EDM artist Calvin Harris, 
recently shared an unexpected admiration for none other than pop sensation Taylor. The confession came during her BBC Radio 1 show, Going Home with Vic, Katie and Jamie, where Vic candidly admitted to indulging in Swift's hits when Calvin is away. The backstory adds a layer of intrigue to Vic's musical preferences. Calvin and Taylor's high-profile relationship, spanning 15 months from 2015 to 2016, added a touch of celebrity drama to the mix. Now, with Vic's public declaration of admiration for Taylor's music, the plot thickens. During a segment of her show, Vic's co-host Katie Thistleton read messages from listeners sharing their activities when their partners are absent. This prompted Vic to unveil her guilty pleasure of immersing herself in Taylor Swift's musical catalog, a secret musical rendezvous that she enjoys while Calvin is not at home. As soon as my husband goes away, I listen to Taylor Swift, Vic confessed, shedding light on her private musical escape. She shared that she indulges in a few Swift tunes to satisfy her craving before returning to her regular playlist. The conversation didn't stop at Vic's musical confession. It delved into Taylor Swift's larger-than-life impact. One notable incident discussed was Swift's concert reportedly causing an earthquake in L.A. Initially, researchers speculated whether the seismic activity was due to the concert's powerful sound systems or the crowd's enthusiastic dancing. However, a study conducted by Caltech seismologists revealed a fascinating conclusion. It was the fans' movements, pulsating with energy and excitement during Taylor Swift's performance at SoFi Stadium, that triggered the seismic activity. The concert, attended by approximately 70,000 fans, coincided with the recording of a 2.3 magnitude earthquake in August 2023, as documented by seismologists. This seismic phenomenon serves as a testament to Taylor Swift's unparalleled ability to captivate and mobilize her fan base, creating waves of enthusiasm and energy that reverberate far beyond the confines of the stadium. Vic Hope's musical indulgence in Taylor Swift's hits, coupled with Swift's seismic impact on concert goers, paints a vibrant picture of the enduring allure and influence of Swift's music. It's a reminder that music transcends boundaries, resonating deeply with listeners and leaving a lasting impression that extends beyond the notes and lyrics. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.